This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Four fielders on the offside from what I can see, and five on the leg side. A very fine deep third in place and a long on. Here we go. First ball of this T20i series. Starts off with a wide down the leg side. The keeper, Marco Vega, has actually done quite well to get a hand to it and ensure it doesn't go away for a minimo. I think if you're a natural aggressive hitter, you should play your shots. And that's why, because this is Nick behind. Stefan Gutz gets a wicket straight away with this ball moving, moving away. Just catches a little bit of the bat and a nice straightforward catch there by Marco Vega. And that's what I was really trying to refer to, is that if you... If you are naturally aggressive, then play your aggressive ways. Oh, is there an edge there? Yes, there is. The batter is walking, and Gooch does it again. The second wicket this over. He's on for a double wicket made in here. What a start for Estonia. Brilliant bowling. He's getting that ball really to move away. It's all about the swing. When he likes bowling from the other end, just watch this one move. Oh, that's a great delivery. What a seed. Oh, well, this is Arslan Amjad who sticks out one hand here. I think this is probably a catching opportunity, you know. Gone. It's the third wicket. Stefan Kuch is on fire. Three for five. It's not a good shot this time from Akila Kalugala. It's a bad shot. He's going across the line here, gets a bit of an inside edge, crashes it back to his own stumps, and Kuch... He is on fire here. That's his third wicket. Dream spell here for Gooch. Picks up the third wicket. But you've got to play big shots. But here, well, talking about big shots, that'll do nicely. That's going to crash into the sight screen. That's a lovely strike there from Scott Austin. Straight down the ground, out of the middle. And that's the first Maximo off this T20 International Series. Well, and picking up a few... Sixes as well. That's the second from him. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Ginna sona. Shaka lagia. Scott Austin, the bionic man, uh, finds another perfect six. Okay, go back to that after this delivery. And, well, this will give us an example. I mean, that's a nice shot. That was easily a big six. That he hasn't quite got the cut shot in him. Right, up in the air. Stefan Gooch doesn't drop him. Thank you very much. It's another one bites the dust as Tiwari, well, he's been patient. He's been looking to get going, hasn't really been able to, and he's going to lose his wicket now. And Tiwari, just the 1 4 in the 13 balls that he would face, and he's going to go for six. And just as I say that, it's the first one that is a little bit short, and that one will go all the way. Shaba, Shaba, Ginna Sona. Shuka Lagia, a little bit short. Gunasakara was looking to get hold of one. The energy levels up. Slightly over pitch. Oh, that's an incredible effort for a court and bowl here from Panawa. It's been hit hard. It's been smashed, actually. Panawa dives to his left, gets a hand to it, but it doesn't stick. Sort of trees and shrubs in the air, but too wide from Stefan. Now, this will slow up, I think. Or will it? Ah, just kisses the boundary. Right, high in the air. Arslan getting underneath it. And, oh, it just gets away from him. Just gets away from him. That's a big opportunity to remove Mangala. And it's Arslan Amjad, the captain. And, well, he's going to look to capitalise on that. And he'll get a one bounce four. It's not a good delivery, though. Giwala bowling his third over here. Mangala feels that it's time. He goes after him. That's a good shot. And that's a part of the ground that we know it hasn't been covered by a fielder. This one will just go over the rope for four. Deep mid wicket in place and a deep square leg as well. Mangala's going to go big again. And I think just before that ball, I was going to say I'd have another fielder out of the boundary on the left side for Mangala. But forget about having fielders when he's going to muscle it. 
Oh, it's gone up in the air. This could be a catching chance. And oh, Giwala. Well, we talked about his butterfingers, but he does manage to hold on to one here. Oh, aye, well, aye, aye. He's, he's taken in plenty of attempts. He's had to juggle it around a little bit. And Giwala, the man whose name literally means the man of butter, <laughs> does manage to hold on to one. And it's going to be the end for Gunasekra. Look to give it a big hit. And that's exactly what he will do. He has launched this one all the way for a six. Great hit by Taranjit Singh. Off the mark with a massive shot. Just put a slip in. Especially if you're bowling this line. Right, it goes up in the air. It's an opportunity. He's got Austin. Iron up at 50, but he is not going to get there. This catch has been taken. And it's well taken out there as well. As this time, Adita Panwa. He makes no mistakes, gets it in his hand, and he snuggles this into the body. It's like he's holding a baby. He says, this baby is not coming out. Arjun Sahi and Tarajit Singh maybe to, to get some big runs on the ball for them. Tarajit, yeah, and I, I'm surprised with this field. Tarajit, well, he's placed the tennis shot for this. The chase is on for the fielder. Not going to get it. Well, Wimbledon is coming up soon and it's Turangit who is serving up uh, some magic at the moment oh that's in the slot adios bolota adios Turangit singh that is an awesome strike that has gone all the way over the generators it is motoring it's a monster shot from Turangit. we'll be looking to go again savvy under pressure short hasn't worked pitched up hasn't worked and now it's another full toss down leg side is going to be four more quattro mass hit hard and this one also is going to go to the boundary that is an outstanding shot it goes for it and is he going to get another boundary i think he is Ariva. shaba shaba taranjit singh ne kamal kar deta kita hun ta swad aa gaya ke nahi and this for me is a t10 monster hitter coming out at the right time for cyprus and doing what he does best. Over the wicket to start off with here to Arjun Shahi. Shahi does also like to play on the leg side and he does straight away as that one gets put away. Four runs. Oh, Still an exemplary fielder. What a shot. Digs that one in shot short and he's pulled it away. Terrifically, Shahi. Right, dot ball to start from Stefan Gooch. And now this ain't no dot. That is big. That is massive. That is six. Well, you hit me, says Arjun Shahi. To mere mare na main to anu hi marunga, but ke marunga. Launches it. Oh, what a shot! This is outstanding. I kinnna sona. A dekhi the swad aagya. What a shot this is. This is almost like a no look shot. This is an incredible strike. All right, that's lofted over and out of here. Big hit. Taranjit Singh moves to 47, I think. Yep, 47 of just 13 deliveries. This is striking. That, well, oh, full toss. He's hit hard, and it goes over the boundary. That's a powerful hit because there's not too much pace on this delivery from Robson. That's well struck. Nobody out there. It's going to be a long chase, but it will get to the boundary. It's going to be four more. Runs are flowing here. And we thought, mm, okay, maybe they're just going to lose the momentum that they started. But they ain't lose that, lost it. They've gained it because these two come out and crunched it. And Taranjit Singh, Shaba Shaba, Kinni Soni batting up and Taranjit Singh ne here. Up and he half sent you banali here. But to get shakke mare. Goes for it. There is a fielder there, and he can't do anything about it. That is clean over the head of Arslan Amjad. And now he goes out on the offside. Very intelligent shot. Gets his wrist into play. Gets four more. 200 on the board here now, perhaps. And he's going to be bold. So that's going to be the end of the innings and also the end of Terranjit Singh. But what a remarkable and sparkling innings it was. 55 he scores of just 18 deliveries. It means that Cyprus, well, you wouldn't have thought it early on. They get to a very credible and defendable 195 for six.
A change in personnel with the umpire. Steve is still there. But umpire Paul is on the field. And umpire Tom was feeling just a little bit unwell at uh, the end of that last uh, inning. So it's just going to probably just take a bit of a rest once again. I think these guys coming from the UK. Hit this nice and straight. And that's going to be probably four. Yeah. Just gets over the rope. There's probably half a chance here for the bowler, Mahesh. You've still got uh, Bilal Masood, who I'm told is very useful, though he's had a, a very shaky start here, especially in those ECIs, and that's going to be out. It's a good delivery. So finally, you have Mahesh getting this in the right area. And uh, Budaka Mahesh, the slightly shorter one, but it's outside the off. It gets uh, dabbed at by Masood, gets a feather edge onto it. The catch gets taken on the second attempt by Nilin Patrana. He gets a hand to it. It's quite clever, actually, when you watch this again. Around the wicket. That's going to go for the shot through extra cover here, Amja. I think it's taking one bounce over the rope, and it's going to go for a boundary. Just the second boundary. Can he do something similar here? They need the big innings from their skipper. It's going to go down the ground, and he beats the Cypriot skipper, Scott Burdekin. That goes away for four. They're keeping our streets nice and clean. That's the shot he likes to play. And on this occasion, they haven't put a field to it. I am quite surprised. That one, though, will be his third boundary, his third four, as he hits this hard into the ground, and he hits it dead straight, and that will give him four runs. You know, nicely played away by Hook towards extra cover, and not even Shahi is going to be able to get to that. So a uh, good stroke there by Hook. This one's gone up in the air, and it's going to go well over the rope. A good six goes over the hedge, and Umjad hits the first Maximo this inning. Yeah, he does. It's nicely struck, isn't it? But it's in his slot. This is his shot. Straight down the ground. Here we go. Boom. Shakalagia. So looking for an over that kick starts there. Reply. That's a good shot coming your way. And that's going to be six runs. And that's a nice shot straight down the ground. Now he goes again. And this one is right on top of us, I reckon. Oh, just to the right. This one goes over the, the bush. And this is looking around and saying, what have I done to deserve this? And he goes for it again. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Ay, ay, ay. Feeling airy. A little bit of shaka, shaka. A little bit of calypso style. As this one gets a swivel on it, Fielder out there, and an incredible effort. I think that's Arjun Shahi that has to make up a lot of ground, gets the dive in. Well, this one's an interesting one because, oh dear, that's sloppy. That's really sloppy. It's going to be four runs. These two. All right now, this is the chance, and it will be taken well held. And that's the end of uh, Scott, of uh, Hook, Hook will go. I think he just got a little bit under pressure maybe from Arsene Amjad not quite flowing. And a very important breakthrough because that partnership was just 16 short of being 100. And it's Sahil Chohan, the centurion of yesterday. And well, he could go first ball here today. He will. It's going to be a golden duck for Sahil Chohan. At the international T20 level, the man who delighted us all yesterday with a scintillating century. The very first we had in the ECIs, and it was our 17th century here in Cyprus. 109 or 33 yesterday. But how things can change this time around, he'll fall for a golden duck. The man who's on a hat trick. Goes for it in the air, but he's going to get it, is he? Oh, well, that would have been the best ever hat-trick we've seen if this catch was taken. He's diving on the rope, gets fingertips to it, but he's not able to hold the catch. And make that one 26 because that's in the slot. And these extra balls being punished. Smash down the ground into the side screen. Boom. Shaka lug here. And Hassan Amjad starting to turn it on. To hit hard in the air. Austin takes the catch. 
Scott Austin takes the catch. And he said to me yesterday when we were talking, and he was very open about it. He said, yeah, I know I'm dropping them. He said, and you've touched on this, there's something in the air. It's different here in Cyprus. The bubble seem to be flying more. And it's a big catch because they remove Arslan Amjad, the captain. A long on and long off. Let's see if he gets going here. Goes for it. And that's what I'm talking about. That's Stefan Gut at his best. No messing around. He picks the length early and he clobbers it. All right, now down the ground, and that's going to be big six. That's a beautiful shot. Well, watch out in the tower. That's coming your way, and that's Martha Maria who's up there. Russian. Down the ground is going to be six more. He's bowling runs, and that's been a, a big tactical error for me from the, bowl, from the captain. This gets played away. Fielder's got to do work to get there. Can he get there? No, he can't. It's going to be four runs, a big chair from Team Estonia. So that's going to be four. Down the ground, and this one is going to be six runs. Seis Carreras. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Well, this one almost knocks Nish off his chair. ECI T10 Internationals, and it looks like they're going to do the same here, as this one has been beautifully played. Bilal Masood gets a boundary. They miss Q opportunity taken so the ghetto wicket Bilal Masood gets to the highest score that he's made so far here in Cyprus gets to 19 when we'll go so new batter coming in going and strike they're still needing eight of nine deliveries that means that this next delivery becomes very key in the air is it going to be caught no it's just out of reach picks up they're going for two in comes a throw they will get there again. But Arsene Amjad and Stefan Gooch stood in their way. And that will be it. A gentle charge. It's going to be a victory for Estonia. They'll win the very first T20i in this series. And they'll do it with three balls to go. So congratulations to Estonia. Nice moment there. Stefan Gooch and uh, Adita Pamwa get into a huddle.